can be easily manipulated. Richard Wheatley is making a fool out of all of us. Playtime's over. I'm putting an end to it. Law and Order Organized Crime returns February 24th on NBC. It's okay to play the hero as long as you win. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Kevin James, NBC Tonight. Join Planet Fitness today for zero enrollment. Zero, like a bagel. And it's only $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Bagels are awesome. Enjoy tons of equipment for zero enrollment. Zero enrollment. And 10 bucks a month. That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. But the part that'll really get you going is that post-workout high. Look at that below. Oh, it's all natural. It's, natural. it's this place, I tell you. Feel spectacular in 2022 for zero enrollment, $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends February 2nd. And now, most admired alum. Get up there. This is so embarrassing. There's no way it's me. <laughs> you know her. You love her. Ruh -ro. What are you doing here? It's Anna Gomez! Who? Our first gajillionaire. With AT&T fiber, Anna's got the fastest internet with hyper gig speed. I didn't know you went to the school. We have a lot in common. Live like a gajillionaire with AT&T fiber. Now with speeds up to five gigs. Limited availability. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And tonight, that breaking news comes from South L.A., a possible shooting on the freeway there. Police now have the 110 freeway shut down as they search for evidence. It has been a methodical search. Let's get right up to Eliana Moreno and News Chopper 4 Alpha. Eliana. And for the second night in a row, the California Highway Patrol is investigating a shooting that took place on one of our area freeways. Last night at 11, we told you about a shooting on the 5 freeway at Silmar. And tonight, there has been a shooting on the 110 North here through South Los Angeles. Now, at this point, it is unclear in, if anyone was injured in the shooting, but we'll show you some tape that we shot earlier as officers got out of their vehicles and carefully searched every single lane of the freeway looking for any possible evidence in connection to the shooting, uh, spe specifically uh, any type of bullet casings. Now, this entire time since that 9 o'clock hour, the highway has been completely shut down. We now see drivers starting to move, but the backup is very heavy as you leave the 105 freeway. That is the latest from South Los Angeles in News Chopper 4 Alpha. Let's send it back down to you in the studio. Wow, what a mess there, Eliana. Thank you. Also tonight, a pursuit involving a homicide suspect got even more dangerous when he got out of the vehicle and started running through people's backyards. NBC4's Beverly White is in North Hollywood with what it took for the LAPD to arrest that wanted man. According to LAPD, the man they wanted for killing someone was spotted in traffic by detectives, their manhunt ending with a foot chase and a standoff and a police helicopter over Agnes Avenue. We could hear them directing the police officers where to go. He's in the next yard, move over, that sort of stuff. And we did see different neighbors being evacuated from their homes. That's one witness's account of the disruption on Agnes Avenue, where LAPD chased an accused killer involved in a failed traffic stop and collision. They followed him to this area. We had an air unit that was overhead that observed the suspect running through backyards confronting neighbors. Canine units were brought in and after hours of unsuccessful negotiations, police aimed chemicals at a backyard shed and flushed out the wanted man. One of the units that are investigating uh, a string of uh, homicides and robberies enlisted uh, our gang and narcotics division surveillance unit. Uh, they've been doing an, a long-term investigation in order to take this individual into custody. The man was found to be unharmed, but this neighbor wasn't taking any chances. I sat by the window initially, and then it occurred to me that if it should go poorly, I didn't want to be a statistic, my wife and I and our dog. So we moved to the back of the home. The deputy chief says the man is from L.A., but it's unclear why he ran to Agnes Avenue. Residents are glad he's gone. Just grateful that everybody was safe and that nobody was harmed, and they were able to apprehend their suspect without any difficulty. An LAPD spokesman says the robbery homicide division will not be identifying the man arrested here tonight. They say he's accused of a homicide from late last year, and detectives are busy preparing their case for the district attorney. In North Hollywood, I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News. New tonight, LA Sheriff's deputies say the assistant fire chief in La Habra Heights is under arrest for impersonating a police officer. Deputy State 35 year old Timothy Peel equipped his Chevy truck with lights and sirens and started pulling people.